What's up legends? Today is yet another good day. Our arsenal of weapons have been improved further with a new war bond, including a few new armor types as well as weapons, a grenade, and also we've got a few more ship modules which are no joke either. We're going to be going over that stuff here in one second. So today let's take a quick preview at all the new stuff we got in store for this new war bond and I'm quite excited for this one. It's looking to be a better war bond than the previous one and the previous war bond was already pretty good in itself. But first of all, the first thing you will want to know is the new war bond will cost you 1000 super credits, just like all of the previous war bond. Let's take a quick look at what we got here for the first page. We got for seven medals, 100 super credits. We got a new victory pose, which is squat. Pretty cool. We got a new body armor, the groundbreaker. This one is a medium type armor with regular stats uh, with the servo assisted uh, passive. I'm not exactly sure if we have any of that in the market as of yet. But I'll admit, nothing too crazy, just an interesting addition, quite a cool looking hat, uh, interesting cape. We also, very important one, is the thermite. I can't wait to test this out. But as you can kind of tell, the penetration here is 7, and if I'm not mistaken, 7 is pretty much heavy armor penetration. We're going to be testing this out very thoroughly, so stay tuned for that. On the same page, we also got the adjutant. Adjudicator? Adjudicator? Is that how you say that? Yeah, so we got here a new marksman rifle, which is going to be a fine addition. It seems like a pretty uh, standard semi-automatic sniper rifle with a high capacity of 25 shots, medium armor penetrating, and the damage seems about average. So pretty much average stats all across, which is not to say that's a bad thing, by the way. That's a pretty good thing. It seems like a very well-rounded sniper rifle. Hopefully it's not going to feel like the Diligence counter sniper that actually feels pretty heavy to kind of carry around as the crosshair moves quite slow. But we'll be testing this out and finding out whether it's going to be a good addition to our arsenal. On to page two, which we will unlock after we spend 60 medals. We will be getting here the new body armor. This is a light armor set with the armor rating at 64 and a very increased speed rating. And this one carries the engineering kit, which we already have some light armor with the engineering kit, but it does seem that this armor rating is a little bit different from the options we currently have available. This is going to pair quite well with the thermite grenade for the engineering kit increases the amount of grenades you can actually hold. So people who do enjoy the thermite grenade are going to be enjoying this body armor quite nicely. This is a really dope looking helmet, by the way. And this is a cool cape as well. I don't think we have this style of cape, you know, kind of diagonally there. That's quite cool. So for this one, we're going to be getting a new booster. The expert extraction pilot lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction beacon. That is very, very interesting. I do wonder how much it's going to decrease. I did hear about leaks that people were leaking how much time it actually reduces, but I'm not going to lie. I don't quite remember what that timer was, but I will be testing this out and finding out whether it's going to be a fine addition, especially for us solo players. Extracting can be quite a pain in the ass. So if we can kind of mitigate that difficulty there towards the end of the game, it can make our extractions quite a lot smoother. We also have, of course, the standard 100 super credits for this one. Another victory pose. Okay, that'll do. And we also got here the Eruptor. So the Eruptor is pretty much... Oh, sorry. The Eruptor is pretty much the Warhammer 40k weapon known as the Bolter. It's a weapon with only five shots very intense recoil, very slow fire rate, and a lot of damage. This is a medium armor penetrating weapon with explosive damage. I'm actually super excited to test this one out. And the design of the weapon actually does look like the bolter from the Warhammer 40k. In case you guys didn't know, this game was heavily inspired by the Warhammer 40k world. So it's expected that we get to see a weapon that looks just like the bolter. We'll be testing this bad boy out in no time. So on to page three, that's going to take us 230 medals to unlock. And we got here a victory pose, the boxer. We got a heavy armor set. Usually these war bonds always have one light one medium and one heavy armor set. That is a pretty cool looking armor. I am not going to lie to you guys. So we got here the fortified armor passive, which reduces recoil when crouching or prone and the 50% explosive damage resistance. I don't think it quite beats the butcher for automaton plays. I think the butcher is the best automaton heavy armor set, at least for my solo play style. But this 
is a mean looking armor set. I'm not going to lie. I think this is the coolest design we've gotten so far. We also got here the secondary grenade pistol. This is something everybody's been looking forward to. It's of course a pistol that shoots grenades and it has one shot per reload. I do wonder how much ammo we're going to be carrying in total. If it's going to be a lot more than the standard four to six grenades that we already carry. I'm really, really excited to test this one out. I think this one's going to work fantastic against automatons. I really can't wait to try it out. We got the standard 100 super credits here as well for the same price as it usually is. And lastly, for the 80 medals, we have the exploding crossbow with 420 damage and five shots, very low recoil and fairly low fire rate as well. This one I have mixed feelings about. I'm not entirely sure whether it's going to be a good weapon or not. It's really going to take quite a bit of testing to find out, but I'm sure it's going to be a fine addition for group players. I'm just not entirely sure that it's going to be a great choice for solo players, but for group players, which is the case of pretty much 99% of the community, this is going to be a fine addition, I'm sure of it. It's going to be great at dealing with those striders. It's going to be great at dealing with pretty much anything that's weak to those plosives. I honestly can't wait to try this one out either. So last but not least, this new update also included new ship modules. I don't think we were expecting that. At least I wasn't. But we also got five new ship modules, if I'm not mistaken. We got here pretty much one per bracket. That's pretty cool. So for the support weapon one, which is the patriotic administrating center, we got the superior packing methodology. Is that how you say that? Anyways, what this does is every time you resupply, you will refill your support weapons with the maximum number of carryable magazines. In case you didn't know, if you have the anti-material rifle, for example, and you attempt to resupply, it will only give you back three magazines instead of the full six. And with this upgrade right here, it will refill the entire six, which will make you waste far less resupplies, which is going to be a fine addition. Nothing too crazy, but just a quite fine addition to make our lives a tiny bit easier when we're out there dealing with the automatons or the bugs or with the new faction that's coming soon. So for the orbital cannons, we've got the atmospheric monitoring. We got the upgrade effect of orbital HE barrage spread reduced by 15%. This is going to be pretty good as the 300 millimeter barrage actually has a crazy radius, a little bit too large to the point that it actually misses most of the shots. I do kind of wish that that pilot had a slightly better aim when they're shooting those barrages. But yeah, this is going to help out quite a bit. This is going to allow us to focus our target a little bit better. The little 15% is going to make a huge difference on the 380 millimeter, which is a fantastic barrage that has a really large explosion, which uh, if you got 15% less spread on that, you should be able to take down some pretty heavy units much more consistently. Also for the hangar, which is my favorite one, it was the first one I ever upgraded because these eagles are just insane. We've got the XXL Weapons Bay, which Eagle Stratagems that drop multiple bombs will drop one additional bomb. I'm not exactly sure if this is going to make that much of a difference. Uh, when you use the Eagle Airstrike, I think it drops something like 10 different bombs. So is that one bomb really going to make that much of a difference? I don't really know. But yeah, surely your Eagle airstrikes are going to be a little bit more deadly as well as your napalm airstrikes and your cluster bombs, of course. But I don't expect this will be uh, that dramatic of a change. Moving on to the bridge, we got the enhanced combustion. And let me tell you guys, I think this is going to be the most powerful ship module upgrade we can get out of these uh, new added ones. Fire damage from stratagems is increased by a further 25%. You see, the flamethrower two, three updates ago, whatever it was, got buffed by 50% damage. And just now on the previous update, we got it buffed again for another 50% damage to the dot damage. And this update, we got yet another 25% damage increase. And that also applies to the Eagle Napalm airstrike, which is extremely deadly these days. And boy, I think this is honestly the strongest new upgrade that we've gotten on this patch. And I just think this is going to make the fire loadouts so much more deadly. In case you guys didn't see, 
I made a video where I broke my personal record of a thousand kills using a fire loadout and boy with this things should get even a bit easier. I'm super super excited to get this one. This will be probably the first one that I'll get and let me tell you these prices are looking quite steep. 200 common samples is a lot dude. That's a lot of samples. We also got the circuit expansion on the engineering bay which is going to make the lightning arc fired from weapons and turrets jump to one additional enemy, which essentially is an arc thrower buff. For any arc thrower lovers out there, this is a must have. This is going to kill one extra enemy per shot, pretty much. I mean, that's insane. The arc thrower is already one of the best support weapons in the entire game, and this is going to make it even more so, possibly being a little bit better than the flamethrower. But once again, since we got the new enhanced combustion i don't know all i know is that both of these new upgrades are gonna transform these already insanely strong support weapons they're gonna be just dramatically better last but not least for the robotics workshop we got blast absorption we got sentries take 50 percent less damage from explosions which really is just to try to prevent those team killing uh our own sentries, you know, from Eagle airstrikes, cluster bombs, and things like that, you know, uh, where you have your teammates accidentally just getting rid of your sentries. Honestly, I don't think this is that good. I'm not going to lie to you. Even if you're a sentry lover, it just doesn't sound that good, honestly. It's just to prevent team killing. But yeah, a new upgrade for the sentries nonetheless, which should make them slightly tougher when dealing against especially automatons as you'll have a couple of rocket devastators and the little rocket guys trying to shoot it down should also protect you from that still don't think it's going to be that insane but yeah a fine addition to the sentry lovers and that's it for this quick preview realistically probably the game added some hidden stuff as they often do every time they release an update but that's pretty much it for checking out this war bond thank you guys for checking out this video we're going to be testing all of these weapons extensively testing it out against every unit type and also making videos on all of that as well as of course lots and lots of gameplays so thank you guys for being here i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace